it has already changed my life. And I think that people who are thinking about saying applying for the human trials. What the heck is going on with Neuralink? After allowing the first patient to play chess for eight hours just by thinking, Elon Musk continued to announce the launch of a second product called Blindside after the big success of telepathy. Hope for a series of blind patients now lies in the N1 chip, or more precisely, 1,024 electrode fibers that will be able to regain sight through GoPro. So why is Neuralink establishing a new technological universe? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing that bell. Now let's get started with today's content. Musk has been able to keep his promise with Neuralink. Several years ago, Elon Musk declared that Neuralink would be able to restore vision in blind individuals. He was confident in Neuralink's capabilities. Following the outstanding success of the first case controlling a computer mouse with thoughts, this genius has now announced Neuralink's next product, Blindsight. True to its name, Neuralink's next device will restore or recover vision. How does Neuralink Blindsight work? In November 2023, Elon Musk shared that Neuralink was researching a vision chip, but it would take a few more years to be ready. At that time, the company was focused on obtaining FDA regulatory approval for the first human trials. Now, we don't have to wait much longer to witness this technological marvel, as just under five months since Musk's revelation, Blindsight has emerged. Now, do you believe that a person born blind or who has never seen light will be able to gain sight? Regarding Blindsight and the capabilities of this product, Musk said during a Neuralink show and tell in 2022, the first two applicants we're going to aim for in humans are restoring vision. And I think this is notable and that if someone has never had vision ever, like they were born blind, we believe we can still restore vision. The visual part of the cortex is still there. Even if they've never seen before, we're confident they could see. It wouldn't be wrong to say that Neuralink represents the most advanced technology in the history of human development. To describe the process of restoring vision with the N1 chip would be to divulge proprietary information of the company. Therefore, we can only outline how Neuralink will apply it with blindsight. In essence, our brain's cortex is highly intricate, consisting of nerve cells divided into various central control regions. The frontal region is associated with high-level cognitive functions such as decision-making and creativity. The top portion regulates movement and muscle sensation, and the visual cortex is located at the back. Initially, the N1 Neuralink chimp is implanted into the visual cortex, located at the back of the skull. This invasive process is naturally carried out by the R1 robot ensuring precision and safety. At this point, 1,024 small electrodes will directly stimulate nerve cells within the retinal structure. The simulation mimics light signals, aiding the brain in forming images. The brain will then process signals from the Neuralink device to generate images. The truth is, these images may not be entirely clear like normal vision, but they can help the blind recognize objects in the environment around them. Musk has confirmed this by stating that initially, everything might be akin to Nintendo graphics and will improve over time. For the blind, the chip in the brain will communicate with 64 tiny threads surgically implanted into the visual cortex by the Neuralink surgical robot. Never underestimate these threads. Even though they may be thin, measuring only a few millimeters, they have a large surface contact area thanks to all the folds in their structure. Each thread contains 16 electrodes, amounting to a total of 1,024 electrodes functioning as both inputs and outputs for the N1 device. Through this setup, Neuralink can receive signals and directly generate images in the brain. In another scenario where Neuralink can input images into the patient's brain, users will have to wear a GoPro-style digital camera, which will wirelessly transmit image data directly via Bluetooth to a mobile device. Subsequently, the phone will convert that image data into neurosignals, which are then embedded back into the Neuralink chip. The chip will then transmit these neural signals into the brain, allowing you to see the images displayed on the phone. Of course, this case will be challenging and will require much more research and time. How has Neuralink successfully experimented with blindsight on animals? The blindsight system is already working in monkeys, Mr. Musk has now claimed. Resolution will be low at first, like early Nintendo graphics, but ultimately may exceed normal human vision, he said. He also stressed that no monkey has died or been seriously injured by a Neuralink device. Neuralink has faced criticism from regulators and animal rights groups over its treatment of the monkeys that are a key part of its experimental work. Talking about this experiment before, another experiment performing imaging data captured by a camera into the monkey's visual cortex 
This experiment demonstrated that the monkeys perceive virtual light rays as being in different locations. It's a technology that Neuralink hopes will create a prosthetic visual system for blind individuals in blind sight. We all know that the first-generation Neuralink technology, Doug Telepathy, used 1,024 electrodes. However, Neuralink has introduced next-generation models with over 16,000 electrodes. This makes sense because to restore vision, we need a stronger chip with a greater number of electrode rates. Neuralink researcher Adams stated that the increased number of electrodes will significantly improve the fidelity of the images that a blind person can perceive. Adams also mentioned, if you put a device on both sides of your visual cortex, that would give you 32,000 points of light to make an image in someone who's blind. Yeah, we can't know for sure which specific chip details Elon Musk will decide to use for blindsight, but hopefully it'll be an upgraded version compared to the first patient. Continuing from telepathy, Adams is striving to package camera data into a format compatible with the brain and transmit it directly to the visual cortex. He demonstrates his description by stating, Our goal will be to turn the lights on for someone who spent decades living in the dark. How successful is telepathy Neuralink when allowing the first patient to play chess by thinking? It's no surprise to talk about Elon Musk's bold ambition in his ventures. In fact, both attraction and criticism are inevitable. Anyone who has followed Musk over the years realizes that he and his companies frequently face criticism. However, this seems to have changed, at least to some extent, when Neuralink recently announced a significant update regarding patient one, the first patient in the trial. Bliss Chapman, an engineer from Neuralink and Neuralink patient Nolan Arbaugh, participated together in an intimate live presentation aimed at introducing how the brain-computer interface works. The company's groundbreaking device that's been making waves with Musk's shares about this patient's remarkable recovery after the implantation of surgery. Arbaugh, a 29-year-old man paralyzed from the shoulders down with spinal cord injuries at C4 and C5 vertebrae, and worse, a complete loss of sensation in his body, arms, and legs after a horrifying driving accident. He's the individual who's seen significant improvements since applying the telepathy Neuralink in January of last year. We were particularly surprised by the age of this patient because in previous episodes, we discussed how Neuralink selects cases, with the early trials undoubtedly prioritizing younger individuals to enhance recovery rates, as well as better resilience. However, what truly astonished us to the point of gaping was the ability to play chess using thoughts facilitated by Neuralink through telepathy. The surgical procedure leaked to last 30 minutes. Arbot did not require general anesthesia, and post-operative invasion only left a small scar on the scalp. During the surgery, a robot will remove a small piece of the skull and connect thread-like electrodes to pre-identified areas of the brain. These electrodes will record waves and transmit wirelessly to his iPad. As Arbaugh noted, the ability to move and interact with technology through Neuralink has been life-changing. So much so that the 29-year-old admitted that the first thing he did with his brain-computer interface device was to play Civilization VI all night, or rather for eight hours until the implant's battery ran out. He only needed to stare at a particular spot on the screen, and then he could place the mouse wherever he wanted. Not only does he play chess, but he also successfully plays Mario Kart just by thinking. What was especially impressive in the demo was that Arbaugh seemed to have quite impressive control, directing his racer not only to turn, but how far to turn, showing a similar level of control finesse. For example, he can shoot down another player in the demo video. Before the implant, Nolan had to use a mouth stick to control his laptop. Luckily, he's now using a Bluetooth signal, which transmits from a small computer chip in his head directly to his iPad. Nolan explains his process of learning how to use Neuralink and what a learning experience it was for everyone, because the engineers who developed the product for nearly a decade were never able to hear feedback about using their device. Of course, what Nolan achieves may seem effortless to any of us, but Nolan can only utilize devices such as computers and iPads while seated in his chair and requires constant care to adjust his weight and ensure he won't encounter pressure-related issues. The wireless connectivity in Neuralink enables him to work and play games while lying in bed, where he can be alone for hours on end. This provides him with a level of independence that was previously unattainable without the implant. Imagine a not-so-distant future where Nolan Arbaugh can move a motorized wheelchair with his thoughts, much like Professor X and X-Men. It's truly mind-boggling. With Neuralink, it's not too far-fetched to say that he'll regain much of the lost freedom he once had. Furthermore, there's a good chance he might bid farewell to his wheelchair with Neuralink because at least we know that Neuralink can address issues related to spinal cord injuries. 
While it may not enable him to walk or run normally, at least this technology holds promise in reducing his reliance on the wheelchair. As the Wall Street Journal pointed out, moving a computer cursor isn't a big technical leap for brain-computer interfaces. An older brain chip first implanted in a human in 2004 also helped a paralyzed person move a cursor with only their thoughts. The older chip, however, needed to be attached to a device on the outside of the brain to transmit data which required wires sticking out through the skin. Neuralink's wireless connection between the chip and the laptop seems to be particularly special. It's not perfect, Arabaugh admitted at the end of the video. I'd say we ran into some issues. I don't want people to think that this is the end of the journey. There's still a lot of work to be done, but it has already changed my life. How is Neuralink evaluated by the media after successful telepathy? Surprisingly, the media attention surrounding Neuralink's demonstration of brain-computer interface has been quite positive, in stark contrast to the initial skepticism when Elon first introduced the technology. Even media outlets like CNBC acknowledge that for companies like Neuralink, this is a great time to exist. TMZ also shared a similar perspective, with a host of this media outlet acknowledging the potential benefits of Neuralink for humanity. Peter Demandis, founder and chairman of XPRIZE, also lies this significant milestone. In an interview with CNBC, Demandis noted that this is just the beginning. He also emphasized that the rate of exponential acceleration means that over the next 10 years, we're going to see as much progress as we've seen in the last 100 years. Such sentiments are not far-fetched. One only needs to look at the significant milestones of Tesla and SpaceX over the last decade to see that companies led by Musk tend to develop and innovate rapidly. On social media platforms, floods of praise are also being shared, including heartfelt sentiments expressing a desire to use this technology to heal wounds caused by conditions like paralysis and blindness. For example, creating a better world for humanity. I wish I can visit Neuralink one day to say thanks to the scientists there. I love Neuralink, or... I talk trash about putting chips in our brains, but I think I get it now. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. It's easy to see how people have a more positive view of Neuralink just by what this new technology can do. It's quite surprising that Neuralink's just getting started. Brain-Computer Interface has shown the potential to change lives, and the next product from Blindsight, a company, could potentially help even more people. Yes, there will undoubtedly be criticism and skepticism at first. You can see plenty of that on social media today. But at the same time, it's quite encouraging to see more and more people rallying behind Neuralink as it pursues its ambitious goals. The future of Neuralink and BCI in general is shrouded in both anticipation and concern. Will we witness a seamless integration between human consciousness and machines? Or will this technology exacerbate existing inequalities and ethical dilemmas? Only time will answer. The first patient, Arba, has achieved what was once thought impossible. He posted on social media using only his mind thanks to the Neuralink device. This simple yet groundbreaking action has garnered widespread acclaim, receiving over 40,000 likes and earning Arbaugh 36,000 followers on X. However, the journey's not without its quirks. His first post led to a temporary ban from the platform due to suspicions of being a bot. The ban was quickly lifted after none other than Musk intervened, reaffirming the authenticity and importance of Arbaugh's message. One thing's certain. Neuralink's first telepathy brain implants has brought us one step closer to a future where the boundary between the human brains and machines is increasingly blurred. The road ahead is paved with both opportunities and uncertainties, but the potential to improve lives and revolutionize the understanding of human cognition is undeniable. The emergence of blindsight is predicted to open the door to much more advanced technology and revolutionize the lives of blind patients. Following the resounding success of telepathy technology in aiding patient one, the attention of the scientific and industrial community is gradually shifting towards blindsight with promising potentials. Enhancing the complexity of visual restoration while optimizing these methods is becoming the focus of many researchers. Meanwhile, the success of Neuralink, if achieved, will help extinguish any doubts and debates surrounding the feasibility and ethics of this technology. Progress in this field not only brings hope to millions of patients or encourages advancement of the medical field, but also opens the door to a marvelous and promising future in the realms of artificial intelligence and biotechnology. The story of Neuralink is still unfolding, and its ultimate impact on society remains to be seen. But one thing's clear. This bold project pushes the boundaries of what was once considered science fiction, paving the way for a future where thinking itself becomes a powerful tool for interaction and renewal. What do you think about Neuralink's blind sight? And how do you feel about the remarkable success of telepathy that creates the ability to play chess with your mind?
Let's discuss below, and we look forward to future episodes about this amazing technology. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.